Hutt was murdered on the 12th of February in 1989 in his home. And he was 39 years of age. He was a human rights activist and a human rights lawyer who rose up with his class. He didn't rise out of his class. He rose with them. He believed in the rights of citizens. He believed, no matter who you were, that you had these rights and that the law should uphold those rights. So he became a threat. He, he became a danger. He became a danger to the status quo. He became a danger to the, the state. And he became a champion for and to uh, the rest of us. And he highlighted and he opposed the illegalities that were going on within the system, particularly within the arrest and interrogation and judicial system. And this was happening on a daily basis. It was happening all the time. And essentially, that's why he was killed. No other reason, no other rationale. So when, when the British state killed Pat, they thought that was it. They thought, Shinai, that's another you know, uppity fiend sorted out. And they didn't take into account Geraldine Penuggan, who was also wounded in the same attack. And Geraldine and the family and Pat's friends, his many, many friends, have fought a determined campaign for truth and justice since then. I, I think his voice haunts the corridors of power the reason why the British resist this particular case is because it does exemplify the use of state collusion, the collusion between the, the, the British government, its military, its intelligence agencies, the RUC and the Unionist death squads. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've often thought that the, the Pelugans are very special because of course there are lots of other people and there are victims on each side of the conflict who are looking for truth. But I think what they have been able to do because of Pat's prominence and because of their tenacity and because they do have friends who have, you know, lawyerly and other uh, background, they shine a light in all these other cases. And that's why I said it isn't just about Pat, it's about British policy. And it's about lifting the lid on all of that. So what was collusion? actually the establishment of unionist paramilitary groups. They were set up by the British. The infiltration of uh, other groups, including at the very, very highest level, the direction of these groups, the controlling of the groups, the arming of the groups, the training of the groups, and the information which allowed them to act as, as they did. So I'm in awe of Geraldine and John and Catherine's determination of all the work that Michael has done, of the work that the brothers have done and before her death what uh, Mrs. Finucane did. Just, just in awe of, of your uh, courage.